This video is all about the lights, the lights that you can control with the phone app like this. Magic. Yes, I'm talking about KMTV Bolton 4 feet RGB bicolor slim tube lights. That's the full name of them, I think. <laughs> this is a model 4 FT 4 feet R. I presume this is for RGB. They, these lights actually come uh, as well in a different length. They come in a 2 feet and a 1 foot uh, and they come as RGB or by color only. I do have two of those lights behind me in 4 feet full RGB models. So let's talk about actual lights. The lights come in a soft padded case and they include the lights obviously. Uh, they also have a controller and a power supply and they can be controlled without the smart device. Problem with controlling them without the smart device, without the phone or a tablet, is that if you controlling brightness or color uh, of one light, any lights in the vicinity of its own Wi-Fi are gonna be controlled at the same time. So if you got two or three or four lights or whatever number five and you're controlling one of them manually, they're all gonna switch on and change to the same value if you do it manually. The lights can be powered by the mains or the two NPF Sony batteries to get a full benefit of the functionality and what these lights can do, uh, you have to download the free Bolson app. Now to connect, to control these lights with the app, you have to connect your device or the light into your device via Wi-Fi. Each of these lights do have individual number, but when you go to your available Wi-Fi on your device, you're gonna see all the lights which are plugged in in your vicinity as uh, individual Wi-Fi. So I have connected, the two lights I've got are, uh, numbered individually one and two and they both on the same channel and i have connected my uh, phone to the first slide this individual number to its own wi-fi now going to bolton app i can see two devices and i'm connected to wi-fi on the one i have selected in a wi-fi selection so on this app you can not only control the lights individually but you can also create groups or scenes the groups is basically connecting multiple numbers of lights into the same function. Uh, so if you had a four lights, you could have a two lighting blue and two lighting orange. You can always control those groups together. So there's a two or three lights in the same group, you're controlling. If you change the color, it will change on all three lights at the same time. There's also scenes. The scenes are preset settings, like a brightness and a color. So in this instance, I've got two uh, devices here selected both at the same time I can actually go to functions select the color and I can change the bolt lights to whatever color I'm gonna put my finger on let's put it make it green but now I don't like this maybe I want to change it back to what it was I can recall the scenes and uh, in here I have created the orange and teal scenes so if I switch them on the lights coming back to orange until I had preset previously at those exactly settings, i.e. brightness and the color. Very handy if you've got multiple lights. I've got two only, but if you had more, you can actually control more lights the same way. You can control groups and create a scene for the group or individual lights like I have done here. Also, you can control the lights individually, as I mentioned before. If we go to light number two here, with the functions, I can control the color, color temperature, uh, I can control DIY RGB values, the timer, switching the light on and off at a specific time, and I also got remote, uh, which gives me the basic RGB values plus the strobing or fading or flashing uh, with a brightness uh, here. So. Uh, yes, let's change some settings here. First, let's put a different color on the light one. Let's make it purple. You can adjust easily the, the brightness of the light to to match your required settings, like something like this. They're quite nicely diffused. I'm gonna try them in this video to actually use as a main light for video and see how uh, soft or harsh they are. So keep watching to see that. Uh, here also in the settings we got a functions. Uh, these are preset set of uh, functions for for the lights. They the most probably one which people talk about on reviews of these lights is the cop car 
uh, how many times are you gonna film anything which creates the cop car lights maybe every day who knows maybe this is a kind of stuff you film but you got this preset here you also got a fire which doesn't really look like fire and a candle which just red flashing you also got the lightnings I can see if you're making something like a horror you could put these maybe just to to light the room occasionally yeah maybe there is usage there's also quite a few preset color settings like this one when it goes from blue to red and you can change the speed of the transition <sighs> again I can't really see me using these ever I can't really see the purpose uh, to change the light that speed maybe something like a product video uh, you could create nice mood to create that kind of changing changing light so yeah the functions are there and it can be added to individual um, lights in your in your set cool function here for the color of the light is the fact that you can actually select the photo from your uh, smart device or take the photo to pick the color from it this would really be cool if you are filming a corporate video maybe you're filming interview and you want to add extra color to the background in a corporate branding of the company you're filming for so you could actually add the logo to your photo gallery pick the logo in the bolton app and select that branded color to create that color light I have been using those lights for a few weeks now and I really really like them I can set up the camera the mic and the, the monitor I'm looking here to to see what's happening and then before actually hitting the record button I can control the brightness and color of the light if I want to change it it's very very handy feature for someone like me who does this uh, regularly I have already shot some photography using those and also have uh, shot some product videos and and photographs to create the, the color wash or mood okay so the time has come to have a look if I can switch this main light I've got here and and try to light myself with just those RGB lights let's have a look if they are soft enough to use as a main light so I'm back and I'm lit by the orange light from the side uh, it's quite low it's not actually above me it's right next to me but let's have a look if I can switch it to white and see what we're gonna get uh, on this okay let's have a look now controlling uh, the wrong light I'm controlling the light in the back but I'm still orange here so let's just do a bit of a teal in the back like this and then let's go to the device one which is right next to me the orange one and let's put this into a, a white color so here you go that's very bright but i don't think it's too bad at all i'm looking down here i'm sorry i'm looking at the monitor just to see what's happening i don't think it's too bad at all let's just control the, the brightness yes it's it's slightly too low but if the light band was higher I think, let me pick it up here you go that's the light itself but let's turn it around because the cable is uh anchoring now this is not bad light at all the the tube the rgb tube actually is diffused with a plastic uh, plastic covering uh yeah this is a perfectly usable light as a as a main line if you had nothing else i uh, presume this would do the, the lights come as well with the barn doors we haven't mentioned before so you can control how much light is, is is coming out so i can actually close this to make a little slit like that and uh, and control how much light uh, is hitting the subject me last thing i need to mention that these lights do not flicker on a higher frame rates video and one thing which is really bugging me here that the cable for the power is permanently attached into the light it's not a problem as such but if that wears out uh, the, the case it comes in uh, is very tight so you have to bend the end of the cable to put them away so if that end of the cable is gonna wear out and disconnect for whatever reason from the light you have to fix it or buy it on the light there's no there's no other way if the cable was detachable you could just get another cable which would be presumably cheaper than replacing the the whole thing but uh, yeah they're very impressive for what they are yes that's about it link is below if you want to check these out uh, i do highly recommend these i do like these a lot yeah 
decent decent uh, RGB lights so this is it from me I hope you've enjoyed this little video if you did please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing and do not miss next video because I'm doing a giveaway my first ever giveaway so yes if you don't want to miss it please subscribe hit the bell button to get notifications and see you next time <laughs>